Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We feel very lucky to be the last group today. So, stay tuned with us. Have you heard the phrase of Art with the Old, In with the New? This phrase reflects FIFO inventory management. Judges, ladies and gentlemen, a very good, morning, good afternoon and welcome to our presentation. We are from University Technology Mara, Malaysia. Before we start, I would like to tell you the concept of FIFO. FIFO is referred to a concept of having early inventory in and earliest to go out. Basically, there are four general process in FIFO. The first one is obtain order from MCS, which stands for Material Control System. Second, create order to match the production planners. Third, create a manual Kanban. And lastly, workers have to pick item or material. However, there are problems in FIFO process, and these five are the common problems of FIFO. The first problem is manual Kanban. In manual Kanban, there are two problems, such as uncontrolled reprinting Kanban cards and loss of Kanban cards. Now, let's move to the next inventory problem. Inventory have a problem such as wrong purchasing order and wrong data transaction. These two problems will create a wrong part number and wrong quantity. Overshipment also is a part of FIFO problem, such as ship less than actual quantity and wrong quantity. The fourth is redundant process. The redundant process refers to a past documentation through multiple hands. Last but not least is a picking optimization. When the warehouse is full with all the inventory, then the picking process becomes difficult. This is because there are no specific picking route. Every problem has its own solution. Let's listen to the solution. Fata, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Farah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me recap back the problems that normally happen in FIFO process. There are five problems, which is the Kanban problems, the inventory, process redundant, overshipment, and picking problems. So, to, and to counter the problem that have been identified by my friend here, we have come up with a new system. A system that combines two elements, which is the element of technology advancements and the physical work. The reason why we are Combining these two elements together is because we try to create a new seamless system. A seamless system that can eliminate all of the problems arise from the FIFO process. What is the system that we create? The system is called the AIM FIFO system. Basically, the AIM FIFO system function is to eliminate all the problems happens in the normal FIFO process especially the human problems. So, before I proceed to the process of MP4 system, let's look into the element that constitute the MP4 system. The technology. What is the technology that we use inside our MP4 system? And these are the technology that we use. The first one is the computer database and intranet system. And the second one is the barcode scanner. And last is the RFID Doorway. The beauty of having this technology is that it can ensure that all the data, information, and flow of the inventory will under control at all time. The computer database works as a brain to the system. It provides information, store information, and give direction to the system. The barcode scanner function is to, to store the information faster and precise. And the RFID doorway function is to eliminate all manual checking process. The another element of MP4 is the physical work. Normally, physical work requires a lot of human power, but what we try to do is to reduce it by 
having the innovation of trolley, all the system becomes smooth and faster. Compared to the old pallet concept, the trolley will move the inventory much faster and it requires less human power. The concept of M54 is to have the document and the inventory move in a parallel way. And the objective of M54 is to have a system-driven process instead of the human-driven process. Commonly, there are 10 to 15 FIFO process. And here are the 10 common FIFO process. What happens if we can eliminate some of the process and replace it with a new one? By eliminate five of the process, the process is now become five process. And to make the process become a seamless process, another three new process is added up. So the process is now become the M54 process. The M54 process began by the employee receive the production planning from the MCS or material control system. I'm sorry. Then after that, the employee just need to create the order inside the system and all the document will be automatically created. In the old FIFO process, order creation, Kanban and picking list must be done manually. But by having technology, this manual process can be eliminated and the old document will be, uh, will be automatically created in the system. After the entire document has been received, then the picking process can be done. But before the picking process can be done, the employee needs to print out the Kanban or the document from the MP4 system and assign it to the trolley. The trolley that has been assigned must have an ID which in the form of barcode. From the barcode scanner, the employee just need to scan the code and check whether the code is similar to the, the one that has been instructed by the system. After the, after the trolley has been confirmed, now the picking process can be done. The employee must pick the right inventory according to the instruction or information given by the MC, MP4 system. And then after picking process is done, break bar and shipping process will take place. So these are the eight steps of the MP4 process. And to understand more about the system, I will pass the stage to my friends Fahmi. Thank you, Fatah. Ladies and gentlemen, now you know what MP4 is all about. Let's move on to the benefits of this innovation. A good warehouse management system should have a proper validation system. By implementing NP4, it could assist the warehouse to achieve right and smooth transaction because the movement of goods and documents are parallel together to create a seamless system. Okay, moving on to the first benefits of NP4 is the real-time planning. Inventory accuracy and the system are critical for planner. Planner plans their production accordingly either on daily basis, weekly basis, or monthly basis. Let's say if the planner snapshot inventory at 8 o'clock in the morning, in the system it shows that you have the inventory, but physically it's already being issued at 5 o'clock in the morning. So if the planner assumes the inventory is there and then plan the production, they will end up in the line down situation. So M54 can eliminate all those errors and achieve the real time planning. So the second benefit of M54 is improved quality of service. Implementation of M54 system will make the process become simpler and faster with minimum errors. Less errors enhance the satisfaction of everyone that involved in the process. Therefore, improving the quality of service will make the companies have better control of their warehouse. So the next benefit of M54 is monitoring the entire process. So this system will ensure that all activities will go through every stages and would not skip even a single stage of the process. So it can reduce as many errors as possible. Moving on to the next benefits is status update. Every stage of the process will be automatically updated in the system. So the real-time alerts can give the instant notification about the inventory problems such as uh, labor imbalance, order shortage, and etc. So 
warehouse management system will become more efficient with the implementation of MV4. Last but not least is the cost. Cost can be divided into three, which are the labor cost, time cost, and monetary cost. The first cost is the labor cost. It is the number of workers that are being used in the daily production process. Usually, errors come from the number of workers. So, this can be uh, eliminated with the existence of MV4. This is uh, proven by, as you can see on this chart, shows that the FIFO out of 100% workers, FIFO used, uh, FIFO required 80% of workers, while MFIFO required only 30% of workers. That means 50% reduction in the number of labors. So the less number of people that involved will result in the less errors. So moving on to the uh, second cost is the time cost. Normal FIFO required workers to do manual combine, manual picking list, manual order, and so on. So these activities will consume a lot of time. But with M54, everything will be automatically updated in the system, and you can save your time. As you can see on this chart shows that the delayed time for FIFO, pro uh, for FIFO process usually around 300 minutes. 300 minutes, which means four to six hours. But with PIF, what, but with FIFO process, it can, but M I'm sorry, M54 process, it can be up until 15 minutes only. So that means the 95% reduction in the delay time when we Im, uh, implement the M54 system. So lastly is monetary cost. Too many errors can be a profit killer. It is uh, both costly in uh, labor cost and also actual tangible cost. So having considered the uh, significance of the M54 benefits, the errors can be reduced and the profit can be maximized. As you can see here, based on our case study, it is proven that the increasing from 84, 84 million, 84,000 84, US dollar to 100,000 US dollar in weekly production value. As you can see here, there has 60% increment in the weekly production value when they implement the MFIFO system. This is proven based on our case study. So in a nutshell, these are the benefits of the MV4 that align with the Supply Chain Council mission, which is advancing the supply chain knowledge and its application towards the real world problem. So MV4, always in control. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Very dynamic presentation to keep us awake before lunch break. Uh, may we understand a little bit some details on your case study and uh, how you worked about the figures and how was your experience to implement this M54 in a real life company? Okay, basically, uh, the idea or the concept come when we are doing our, uh, our educational visit to a company. So, uh, when we see the problems happen in the company warehouse, so we have come up with a solution, uh, an idea and that we propose to the company to become a solution. So, um, uh, uh, with collaboration of the company, we have further, uh, we have conduct or we have further research with them and we have tried the system with the company and the result, all the, uh, the graph or the, the decrement or the increasing of the number is all result based on the company that we collaborate with. So, and I can share, am I answering you? Thank you. Again, good job, well done. Nice and energetic to, to round out what we've, uh, so this is the 10th one we've been through, so well done for giving us a bit of energizer at the end. Uh, an interesting case, well thought through. Um, I think it would have been useful for you to mention the, the company, because uh, we're all sort of thinking, what company is this? Maybe, maybe you can't, maybe it's confidential. Um, just coming back to, uh, I think the, the question I'd be interested in is, you know, the additional learnings that you'd got as a team uh, from developing this uh, MFIFO process? What was the additional learnings that you got out of it 
personally as well as the, the case study itself? Personally, I think what I get from this study is that uh, every solution or every problem have solutions. And if it, uh, is it costly or not costly, it depends on the innovation or the solution that we try to create. So the, the main thing that I get from this case study is that um, the warehouse management or the, way, or the FIFO process should be in a very uh, smooth flow so that uh, the productions or the delay time or any problems of FIFO uh, can be reduced. Uh, uh, I just want to add something. What I learned uh, from doing this innovation is the smallest uh, changing or the smallest thing that we change like pallet to trolley it can be considered a big innovation because it contributes something big to the uh, problems that we, uh, that we have. I think that's all from us. Thank you. I can see that you're very passionate about your solution. <laughs> <laughs> what prob um, do, you f do you face any problem when you're implementing this in the company? And how do you overcome it? Uh, okay, basically we try we try the systems and then uh, the problem the problem is uh, the customer complaint, but after we we come out and res do a, some research, then we we can reduce from sixteen areas to one areas, so that's it. Basically, at the first stage of this uh, system, they got a man, uh, many many of something. Then we try and try after a month, then we got something that is come out like this, MV4. I think this is the perfect solution for the normal FIFO process. Okay, this, this probably will be the last time I'm going to speak today. <laughs> um, it's only after the question and answers that, that we realize, or at least I realize, that you guys have done real cases. Because the presentation, just looking at the presentation, you guys were flying at about 30,000 meters high. It was too theoretical, I mean, you know, the way it was presented, too theoretical, and when you start to flash the benefit, it has no substance. There is nothing to tell us, you have done this, by this, and you save this. It's easy to just say, you know what, you've got 100% there, I say 50%, but where, where are these coming out from, all right? So, so it was very high for us, we, we didn't see it coming. I didn't see the link between the problem and the solution because when you first came up and said, I want to do M54, I was very excited. All right, because 54, M54, we've heard 54 for 30 years, uh, and I thought that you're going to come up with something very exciting because it's first in, first out. And I didn't see the slide telling us what first in, first out relates to your presentation, right? Because you know what? So I don't know why you selected 54. Uh, in businesses, FIFO could be useful in real life, but we are talking about expiry these days. It could be FE, FO, first expiry, first out. Right? It could come in later, it could come in earlier, but it could be fresher. So we've got to be also mindful of whether we are dealing with commodities that have expiry dates, and if they are, then it becomes FE, FO, rather than FI, FO. So you've got to consider that. Um, so, so, but overall, a lot of energy there, I like that. Good opening, but you got to continue with that in the body. And then you got to end with also a very big punch. All right, so thank you very much. Thank you, judges. Thank you all.